Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to shoot footage for speed ramping, with no gimbal, just you and your phone. Many of you requested this video, so let's get started. It's best to set your camera to 4K at 60fps for smoother, better quality footage. Also if your phone has a wide angle camera, switch to it, and then we're ready to shoot. You can also see I have the grid enabled. It helps me find the exact center of the screen and keep objects centered while shooting. As you know, for speed ramping clips, it's important to keep objects centered in your frame. For example, in this case I'll be shooting and focusing on my PC's AIO pump, keeping it centered until the end. Also make sure to walk smoothly to minimize vibrations in your footage. Find the best spot, and once you're ready, slowly walk toward the object you're shooting, keeping it centered on the screen. And that's it, we have a clean video of the first shot. Once you have all your clips, we can open After Effects and start stabilizing and speed ramping. Drag and drop a clip into your AE project, then simply drag it onto the new comp icon to create a composition. The first thing I'm going to do is enable the proportional grid. It's essential for keeping your clips perfectly centered and accurate. Here's the exact center of the screen, and our video is also perfectly centered because I used the grid lines on my iPhone to make sure the pump stayed centered while walking toward it. The video right now is shaky because it was shot handheld. No matter how careful you are, you'll still get some unwanted vibrations from walking. Before we fix the shakes, let's trim the clip, cutting the beginning and the end to keep only the part we'll use for speed ramping. Let's say I want my clip to start from here, so I'll cut it by pressing Alt and the opening bracket. To trim the end, press Alt and the closing bracket. Now that our clip is is ready, we can fix the shaky footage by applying warp stabilizer. I'll set the smoothness to 15%, which is usually enough, but if your footage has stronger shakes or vibrations, increase the smoothness until the clip is stable. Just a note, iPhones have strong built-in stabilization, which makes the footage more accurate. Once the analysis is complete, we can check the video to see if it improved. In my case, it looks fine, not perfectly stable, but accurate and ready for lock-on stabilization. After applying warp stabilizer, pre-compose the clip. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected. You can also rename the layer. I'll call mine stabilize motion and then click OK. Now click on the stabilize motion. For better results, set the preview quality to full. Zoom into the clip now and drag the track point onto the object you want to lock, in my case it's the pump. Next adjust the track point size. The inner box defines the area the tracker actually follows, while the outer box tells After Effects where to search for that object in each frame. Once everything is set, click on Options. Select RGB and enable the Adapt feature on every frame, this will improve tracking accuracy. Then hit OK and click the Analyze Forward button and wait for it to finish. Once the analysis is complete, click Apply and hit OK. Close the tracking window, and let's check the stabilization. Everything looks smooth and accurate. The only thing left is to fix the black edges and better center the clip. To fix the edges, press S on your keyboard and scale the video until the black edges are gone. Then reposition the clip to center it perfectly. Let's preview it once more. And there we go. The clip is fully locked on, and the next step is speed ramping. After stabilizing the motion, pre-compose the clip. You can leave the name as is, I'm renaming mine just for this tutorial. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected, then hit OK. Now right-click on the clip, go to time, and select enable time remapping. I won't adjust the first time remap keyframe since I've already cut the video. But in your case, if you want to change the beginning, drag this time forward until you're happy with the start. Once that's set, scroll forward to where the beat drops, let's pretend it's here, and drag the second keyframe to that point to speed up the video. Next cut and delete the part of the clip after the second keyframe. Then select both time remap keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor, right click, select edit value graph, and create a smooth curve. Once you're done, let's check the final result. It looks stabilized and smooth. We just shot handheld with an iPhone and edited it in After Effects in minutes, easy and quick. Smooth speed ramps aren't hard to achieve, so take your time and practice both shooting and editing in AE to get better. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.